Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terratech. And on this episode, we are in search of new items. We are running out here, or driving out here, uh, looking for anything that we haven't gotten before. Now, I recently charged up my bot, so it should be good to go for a little while. I did have to rearrange my tractor pads. Uh, basically, these tractor pads are sucking right now. They don't have the ability to suck up items uh, from this height and then transfer them over to the receiver. The receiver just doesn't want to pick them up either. So it's just one of those things where uh, a bunch of stuff that should be working just really isn't. And I'm not sure why. Again, I do have the, uh, the fuel tank on my bot and it's finally just now charging up. You can see it charges up and then it uh, completely and totally goes away right there. See, it's charging up. And then uh, in a few seconds, it's going to be gone again. I'm not quite sure why. It seems like, uh, you know, even when I'm not doing anything with it, it still has like a weird bug. And this is the first time that I've seen it charged up in some time now. So I'm hoping it will stay that way. And maybe we'll, we'll be able to, you know, experiment with it. See, look at that. It's going down again. And I am absolutely not doing anything to uh, to change that. I do have the, uh, the boosters on here. And, of course, I could always use them if I wanted to. But, you know, I never really remember to do so. Like, right there, I'm firing my boosters. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just... Actually, it seems like the little small ones are constantly firing. It's just the big ones that don't do it. And what am I stuck on now? This is just ridiculous. Okay, what if I put this wheel over here in the center? We'll do that one more time. Will it grip onto anything else? No, it will not. I think it's stuck up here in the front, to be honest. Can I go backwards? Go back up, maybe... Maybe if I keep doing that, it will get a little bit more traction each time. I think it is. Because it, when it comes landing down, it lands on the wheel for just a half a second. And the half a second gives it traction to kind of push it back before it gets stuck all over again. And there's a bot right there. Uh, what, do you, what do you have? You're just GSO blocks, I think. Nothing fantastic. Normally, I wouldn't make a bot this long, but I've been kind of staying out in the fl uh, salt flats for a while now. And I think it's kind of spoiled me a little bit. I think, you know, because I haven't had to deal with hills or anything of that, like, that's, uh, you know, definitely something you have to be aware of when you're up here in the, the grasslands, is that this place is hilly as crap. I think that's why they started you here, because if your bot can survive here as far as getting up and down over hills and crevasses and just overall a bunch of nuisance on the map, then he should be able to survive pretty much anywhere. Are you telling me that guy was still alive after all of that? I cannot believe it, but I should because they are incredibly strong. They're well built. I don't know who is designing these bots. If they're, you know, having a team do it, if it's one guy, or if they're taking inspiration from what other people have done and uploaded to uh, Twitter, uh, it's probably a combination of all three. But they've been doing really well. The ones that are from the actual company, that uh, the Payload Studio, they have got some really good bots out here. And kind of fun, kind of interesting ones that give you ideas on you know what you might actually be able to do. There's two of them out here. We're definitely going to kill both of them. But I wanted to kind of get a picture of what else we got over here. I didn't want to get trapped in between two. If anything, I want to be able to get that bot to attack the other one. And maybe do a little bit of damage for me. There we go. Now, I have noticed that they will try ramming me a lot of the time. And I have to kind of hold back on how fast I move up. Because my shields, or I should say my repair bubbles, will actually repair the bot as they're getting attacked from my weapons. Not to mention, if they do get close enough, they're going to do damage when they explode. And I do apologize right there. That's, you know, a fair bit of lag. Again, you're going to get that at night. It's just uh, something that happens quite a bit. And then, of course, I am over here in a grassland biome where there just happens to be more resources, more trees, more, you know, stones and rocks and, and pretty much everything, you know, even more bots for the, the most part, just the small ones. And because of that, just more lag is, is going to be the result. And, you know, at first I used to hate showing that off because it just was kind of embarrassing that it would happen on my computer. But most of you pretty much told me the exact same thing. You get it on yours all the time. And it's, it's, everybody has it. No matter how good your computer is, you're going to get some form of that. And it's going to be worse than others, uh, depending, you know, uh, how many blocks you have on the screen. Jeez, I need to put more weapons on the side. That's, that's what it comes down to. I remember having these issues where it's just poorly designed and these guys would constantly get around you and 
eventually trap you like they just did right there. And, you know, I can push them back and then stop and come backwards. And that gives me a little bit of uh, leeway so it, when he explodes, I don't. And that's exactly what just happened right there. Let me zoom in. Hmm. Anything good in there? No, just regular crap blocks for now. If I had my bot set up the right way, I could recycle all of this stuff, take it all down to its base components, most of it anyways. The Venture stuff doesn't yet have a recipe, or at least most of it doesn't uh, have, a, have a recipe that can be... Or it, it does have a recipe. It did at one time anyways. A lot of them did. I don't know if they still do, but as far as being able to be taken down in the recycle bin, uh, just not working at the moment. As soon as they get that back up, then of course, you know, you're supposed to be able to basically recycle or take apart every item in the game. And by doing so, you actually learn the recipe for that item. So very, very cool. From then on, you could just make it. Uh, it's going to be a lot cheaper to make an item than it is going to be to buy an item. At least that's the concept. That way it kind of you know promotes you to do so because it's not even it's not exactly the easiest thing you need the resources and sometimes you need two or three or four of the resources some of them need to be refined some of them don't need to be refined and so it, it does take a little bit of effort to learn the recipe to figure out uh, what resources you need and then go out and find them and then have the proper mechanics the proper uh, you know tech on your bot to be able to refine the ones you need to refine and be able to build the stuff you need to be able to build there's two slot fabricators, three slot fabricators, and sometimes they're kind of hard to find. So that does take extra effort on your part, and I think at some point they're going to have to make that dramatically worth more for you to do it that way than to buy it. And the only way I can think to do that is to kind of punish you a little bit on the price by a lot, and to make it worth it for you to go spend 30 minutes to build a will rather than just buy one for say 15,000 big bucks and that you can get in a matter of like minutes by you know chopping down trees or uh, rocks or whatever it is man it's stuck again jeez these big these big boy wheels normally do ne I mean they just never get stuck on things it just happens to be my bot design is not exactly the best it's gone too far back and I don't even need it to be this far back. I just kind of been picking pieces up and tossing them on, thinking, oh, when I finally do get back to base, I am going to uh, go ahead and sell this stuff. Did this pop off? Did that really? Is that a thing? Can you lose pieces just by going into build mode? It kind of seems lately that that's kind of what has been happening. When I had a whole bunch of these items on my uh, my tractor pads that I needed to get rid of, I just went into build mode and it seemed to like shoot them all off in different directions. It has done that before in the past, uh, don't remember how many patches ago it was, but at the time when you went into build mode, any blocks around you would get shot violently in every direction, which really sucked because when you killed an enemy, you can imagine there's a lot of blocks all over the place and sometimes you want to enter build mode to be able to dedicate yourself a little bit to, you know building time right and when you did that every single block around you that you just worked to get was just shot miles and miles away so far you could not see the distance right and that was just it was kind of disheartening at times I'm just decimating this guy look how slow he's moving because I've, I've pretty much destroyed one side of him oh no there he goes holy crap jeez and he's still moving this guy is still going and he's faster than me. He's always going to be faster than me. Uh, Venture bots are just uh, lightweight, not very strong. That's their downside. They're not very strong, but they are lightweight and they are extremely fast when it comes to their tires. So if you want just a, a bot that's going to annoy, maybe uh, maybe a killer bot. You know, like if you were doing this in multiplayer, if you were actually playing this against other people, I think these bots ultimately will have you know more defense more structure to them probably more offense too because you can just surround them with weapons and just be just this giant tank moving fortress almost but if you have the venture ones you could be so quick if you were skilled enough you could be so quick you could just spin circles around a bot like this and over the course of maybe like an hour and a half whittling my my uh you know, shields down with me not being able to recharge, uh, you could destroy me. Now, if I was doing multiplayer and I was doing a bot that was that strong, they could withstand so many hits, my suggestion uh, or a little tip that I, you know, just kind of uh, 
maybe thought would work is make the center of your bot completely hollow in the sense that there's enough space for you to put down a solar reactor and a, um, a set of, you know, those wireless chargers. And that way, if the bot just isn't doing enough damage to you, but over the course of time, your, your batteries are actually being, you know, uh, you know, taken down a little bit because of, yeah, look at that, he's actually getting killed right there, because of just time, like your shields alone will use power. And so if the guy can just annoy you enough to where you can't put one down, because of course, if you put one down, he can destroy it. And he probably will because it's not protected by a shield. But if you can put it in the center of your bot where you are protected by a shield, or the whole thing is protected by a shield, and you can sit there and get charged up, ideally the best uh, scenario in that one is every so often you get a few lucky shots and just decimate him over time. So, Because that's really all you need is to get a few lucky shots on him because you have so many weapons, it only takes like that one, two shot to just have the, the his bot just completely explode into little tiny pieces. Even if he has shields, it really doesn't take a whole lot beyond, you know, like think about it. I mean, you have Uzis on here, you have the big giant cannons. What are these things called again? The the big Bertha can GSO megaton cannons, stuff like that. Literally, just one shot is going to destroy at least one block. Oh, what does this guy have? Oh, he has some pretty cool stuff. What does he have? Oh, he has batteries. He has batteries on his, guys. I think he has the big ones, uh, at least his big batteries. I want those intact. Oh, come on, don't blow up. Dang it. Dang it. Oh, crap. Well, we're going to get an invader here pretty soon. Ah, oh, jeez. I wanted those batteries. I don't think I've ever gotten the, uh, the Venture batteries before. That was one of the first times I've ever seen one. But I'm pretty sure that's what it was. It had a little a green light in it. That's kind of what the batteries have when they do it. I'm a little low on power, to be honest, guys. I'm a little low. So I may not be able to do this fairly easy. But we're going to try it. I'm going to back up a little bit, get in position. Lagging out just a little bit there. Holy crap, look at that guy. That guy has some shields on him. I don't know. Oh, and it just for, uh, for laughs, went ahead and spawned another set of of an enemy right there so let me see maybe you know what this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna charge up just a little bit because it actually is getting close to nighttime here uh, just uh, just a tad bit in here so what I do is I try to connect both of those towers so it doesn't really matter where the wireless chargers are connected the power will actually go through uh, you know whatever uh, whatever wireless charger is closer and has power to be to be gained because all the solar reactors are hooked up and it just kind of flows through all of them. Now you can see what my power is right here and you can see just uh, how long it's going to take. I'm not going to get fully charged because that's going to be a long, long time and it looks like one of the enemies might actually be coming towards me. They're not supposed to. They've kind of taken that out of the game. In the early stages, if you were sitting still, it didn't matter to the enemy. He would still find you and destroy you. They kind of put into it uh, not too long ago the ability so that the enemy knows, okay, if you're sitting still, I'm not going to come close to you any more than you already are. You're obviously doing something. You're building, you're, uh, you're AFK, you're charging up, whatever the case may be, the game's giving you that break. And it's kind of nice that they did. Before that, if you were sitting there building a base and just getting things going at the very beginning, you'd get a cat attack constantly. And I mean just so, so often that... Even if you were charging up, or if that's all you were doing was uh, repairing your, your pieces, you didn't have time to do anything else. You were surviving, and there was always more and more pieces around you, but you have no time to pick any of it up. And if you did pick any of it up, you would lose weapons because your weapons wouldn't be on the front, they'd be off to the side, your bot wouldn't move around as well, and you end up getting your face wrecked because you can't fight back anymore as efficiently as you were. So the game just becomes this one long battle. And that was only there for, like, I would say about a week that it was that rough. But it's gotten to that point, so I could see them going back to that very, very easily if they happen to, you know, change the settings even slightly. So I think they kind of figured out where they need to be, and they've put in parts of the game that, you know, have actually increased your odds of survival, made it a little bit easier for you, but yet it doesn't feel like it is. You know, like somebody coming to the game brand new, didn't know any of that would be like, hi, oh, this is still pretty hard to survive sometimes. That's what they're looking for. 
But those of us who have been here for a while well knows that it could be worse. You know, like we, we've experienced the worst part about it. Uh, we're happy the you know the changes they made with it, but we definitely can remember back to those those days where yeah, it could very easily go down that route again. And who knows? Like I said, they they haven't put in an easy, medium, hard mode in this game yet. You know, like most games have, and they may decide to do that at some point down the road. I'm kind of hoping that they will, because uh, you know, like I said, my my nephew started playing this game. He's kind of new to games like this. You know, he's young and. Uh, just one of those things, you know, you kind of need to be eased into stuff. And he was watching the videos when I was playing it on easy mode. Basically, when it first came out, it, was, it still needed a lot of tweaking. And one of the things they weren't really concerned too much about was making it really, really difficult on you. They wanted you to play around with the blocks because that's what, you know, they were kind of using you as a tester. I mean, that's what this game is right now. It's still in development, and you're basically a beta tester. You just had to pay for that that privilege almost right of of doing that but it definitely uh you know it was a lot easier when he was watching he's like oh that looks fantastic i want to play i want to play and so you know I, I got the game for him and he started playing it and that same week they came out with another update and that update was just incredibly hard even somebody like me who had been playing for a long long time was dying like every four seconds and it, it just kind of put a bad taste in his mouth because he was like you know he's a kid and he wants to play and uh, you know, his skill level or whatever just wasn't high enough that he could actually survive. Uh, and I, I don't really like want to say skill level because, freak, I mean, I could not survive it, you know? Like, so maybe my skill level wasn't up to par either. I think it was just way too hard for pretty much everybody unless you were just uber at what you were doing or got incredibly lucky, uh, you know, because if you could get the right pieces very quickly on, then, yeah, maybe it wouldn't be that hard, but... It took a lot, a lot of you know, luck to get something like that. And, uh, you know, put a little little bad taste in his mouth, and he stopped playing it because of that. So if they had it there for, you know, just all ages, people who can play, uh, no matter what your skill level is, that's just going to, you know, greatly increase the audience that can use it. And I think for a game like this, it pretty much is for all ages, right? I mean, it's nothing that is too violent that people will not want their kids to play. It actually looks like... There is a giant battery on the top of that, isn't there? There is, isn't there? I don't know. I have to look at it. Um, maybe. Can't really tell from this distance. He started to hit me. Last thing I want is my shields to go down. Now, you'll see, I'm just basically hitting his shields. You may be asking yourself, why are you doing that? It's not doing anything. Well, the more his shields get hit, the faster his, uh, his batteries will be drained. So doing this does actually do something. He may outlast me, though, to be honest, because it looks like he has a lot of batteries on his bot, and I kind of wish that he did, because if those are the uh, the big GSO batteries up there, and I didn't even know they made one, but if those are those batteries, and the other batteries start exploding, it's not beyond the realm of possibility that uh, you know those batteries will then be destroyed as well. And it does seem like that's where... That's, that's where my, my weapons are actually aiming. I hate how they do that. They, they, they know what the most valuable piece on their bot is. And they put it, like, right there where they know you're going to have to aim to destroy them. So a lot of the time you lose it. And, you know, when you have player-made bots, which is why I didn't connect my Twitter account to this playthrough on this patch. There we go. Fantastic. No, no, no. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. What, what are those? What are those? Uh, yes, yes, holy crap, guys, we have the big batteries, unbelievable, finally, the experimental medium batteries, uh, they're not even like the giant batteries, apparently, they're, they're the medium ones, but I will definitely take those over these little, tiny, little, itty bitty weapons, you know, that I have to, or not weapons, but the, the batteries that I constantly have to put on, holy crap, look how many he had, no wonder, we did not even make a dent in his thing. That is an amazing number of batteries, guys. That is just crazy. This bot is about to get a little bit bigger. This is probably a very bad idea, considering it's already getting stuck. But I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways, uh, just because, right? I mean, we, we've had this design for a little while. We know it works. It definitely does work. Now, I want to try something a little bit more, um, I don't know, just different. I think I'm going to go up a little bit, too. I'm going to go up a row just, again, for 
for kicks, you know? Like, it's not going to serve any purpose, but just for fun. And at some point in the game, you get beyond what works and what uh, is efficient and just go into what is, uh, what is fun for you and, you know, what actually... It's just a cool look, you know? It doesn't serve any purpose. And most people will look at it and be like, that is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, maybe, but... It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? You know, like it may be stupid, but it works. And uh, it, you can pretty much make anything in this game work if you know what you're doing. Oh, that's not moving up right there. Okay, so I'm going to put these up here for now. No way am I leaving these things here, to be honest. There's, that would just be... That would be funny if somebody did that. That would just be, uh, like, teasing you. Like, haha, they're up here. Now go ahead and try to destroy me without destroying those things. It's almost like what the enemy does to you. You know, it gives you a little taste of what might be there. And if I had, you know, continued to fire in the direction that I had been, I probably would have destroyed it. You know, I probably would have. Let me see, where is that one? Is that one all the way back or is it right in the center? Hmm, I think it's all the way back on that second square. If this one can even do that. Yep, it looks like it can. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure that it's symmetrical. Symmetrical. A lot of you have stated that, uh, yeah, you kind of like that. <laughs> you don't like it when it's off too much. So I'm trying to give you guys what you want. There's two right there. Uh, so I need another one square. Here we go. Where's a one square? Uh, because you know it's just uh, something that you like to see. You like it to look nice and work somewhat decently. Again, uh, you know, at some point, I just go with what's funny and, you know, what's enjoyable. I do want to make a Millennium Falcon here at some point just because I think that would be cool, you know. Or maybe the Death Star do that in all, like, GSO blocks or Geocore. Uh, didn't quite do it, did I? No, that that is actually off quite a bit. Huh. How is that off? Oh, you know what? Because I went back. I went back one square and not directly on it. Okay, well, we can do that. Let's see if we have another one square. Uh, no, we do not. I guess we'll just go up. Actually, no, I'll, just, I'll go back like this because this is how I want to do it anyways, and uh, that should work. Okay, I think that's fine. Let's see. Uh, you know, that's still going to be off, actually, because it should be up one. Yeah, let's do it right there in the center. And I'm glad it didn't, you know, just dismantle everything that I had going there because that's kind of a pain in the butt if it did. And, you know, I have mentioned before, again, if you don't like the building parts, uh, you're more than welcome to fast forward through them. I keep them in there because a lot of you have asked uh, for me to keep them in there because you like hearing, like, why I'm doing certain things. If you're brand new to the game and you're just not quite sure of the rules, that's not even close to being right, is it? Oh, you know what it is. Is it? I just go straight out. Yeah, keep doing that, keep forgetting about that. And it's so much more difficult to do this in the dark than it is to, uh, the daytime. I would highly suggest that if you're going to build something like this, uh, you put some lights down, you put some, uh, you know, torches. Uh, they have a few of them on this spot I think I could actually put on. doesn't really matter if you keep them on, uh, you know, later on. You can always toss them off uh, once you get done building. But it really does give you more light to to see what you're doing, obviously. And it helps so much. It's it's really a lifesaver if you can do that. Uh, I don't have any one blocks, but I guess that's okay. I guess I don't really need them. I will put the tire on there. You definitely, definitely want to make sure you have tires in every section that you possibly can. I'll just put a wheel right there for now. Mm, yeah, I'll put a wheel right there for now. Let's see, where are my batteries up there on the top? I don't need to move those just yet. Uh, it did have a couple of these, so I can use those for now when I'm charging up. Now I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pick them up probably because I just, eh, maybe I will. I mean, I guess I don't, it's not that big of a deal to pick it up. I just didn't think, uh, you know, I really needed the extra weight. But I mean, really, is it that much weight? I don't think so. Now let's put this on here. Now, I am leaving a little gap here. Again, I've done this design before, and the reason I leave a gap, one, it cuts down on the weight, two, you can put wheels back here, and three, if you do need to charge things up, uh, there's room to put, you know, those uh, solar reactors down. Again, if you uh, get too far out, you may find it very, very, very difficult to, uh, to uh, put blocks on where you need them to be, 
just because of the height you know the height of your your blocks alone will actually get in the way let's see I'm gonna put these up here for now I'm not leaving that there obviously I just need to get them out of the way and then I'll come back over here and this again will allow me to put more wheels on my my bot which will you know move the weight around so I'm not completely over encumbered especially as you add more and more blocks to your bot uh, you know that's more and more weight that you are you know adding to it even though it's the frame you know like it's it's not something that's going to waste it's not like just filler that you're putting in there because you want that extra protection even if they get past the, the layers on the outside uh, it's just I don't know it's, it's a constant struggle in this game between the weight that is necessary and the weight that you're putting on for added functionality you know like there's a there's a certain number of of uh, blocks you just have to have to make sure your your vehicle can actually do what what it needs to do you know not, not even what you want it to do just but what it can what it needs to do and because of that uh, you just uh, you're gonna run into issues where for some reason or another you're gonna have to take extra time and make sure that it has the wheels that it needs to have and uh, guys I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is finish up right here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know do all this off camera and then I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and start up again. I'm going to end the episode here, guys. And on the next one, uh, we're going to see the finished design that I finally come up with. And hopefully you guys will like it. Hopefully you guys will uh, think it's kind of cool. I think it already looks a uh, little little cool to me. I mean, it, it's coming along. And if I put these, uh, you know, solar, or not the solar, but I put these uh, recharge bubbles and stuff in the right spot, you might actually be able to create a design at night, you know, like eyeballs and have it make it look like a lobster or something like that. Because it kind of already does. If I wanted to create blocks that go off in an angle up in this way, and maybe over here go up in an angle up that way, as claws or something like that, this could start looking like a lobster. And I think I might actually try that. Go off as like claws right here. Just, again, for fun, you know. There's no reason not to. And uh, it's just kind of cool looking, guys. So, again, I want to thank you all for watching. If you do enjoy these videos, uh, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Definitely helps the channel grow, and I greatly appreciate it. Also, make sure to leave those comments down below because I would love to hear back from you. Uh, you know, I always find it interesting to get your take on what we're doing. And, you know, the, the advice that you guys have is just, you know, priceless. You guys have told me so many cool things that then I come on here and try to pass on to other people who may not know. So, you know, you're not just helping me out, but you're helping everybody else who watches. And, you know, I can't thank you guys enough for that. Again, until next time, guys.